Reed. Reed's kick is over the half forward line. A chance for Big Justin Madden to take the mark. He quickly plays on, goes for the long shot towards the goals. It's running clear. I think it'll bounce through for a goal. It is. That's his second. But we're at the 20. Their game at the moment. Dean takes the mark. Five marks to Dean. He's already kicked the goal as well. Big Madden in front takes the goal. You know that Collingwood haven't been the same since Williams left the ground, Bob. I don't know what uh, what went wrong there because he hadn't had a great number of kicks. Yes, but I think that Bruce Dool was right back in the back pocket as a defender. Uh, now he's become an attacking player. And would have to fall over to miss it. He's only 15 metres out. He hasn't missed it. Madden bringing through his first goal and Carlton have kicked three, I think, since Williams left the ground. 39 plays 42, three points only in favour of Collingwood. Well, it's a marvellous thing what one player can do. Now through Ashman, he spears it down to Fraser Murphy. He can't take the mark. It's all going to be a mix-up. Joe Summers off the ground. Was it James? It was... No, it was a big man. I thought it was James. It's not a nice piece of work. We'll be happy to see this fellow coming back into form. Kenny Sheldon puts it up high toward Big Madden. Madden's a chance. Madden takes the mark. Just too tall. Madden has kicked two goals. He's now only 25 metres out going for his third goal. He was just too tall on that occasion for Anthony Danaher. And he should kick this goal, as I said, only 25 metres out. So big Justin Madden. Chance to consolidate the game in one sense for Carlton, even though we've only been playing just over five minutes of the final term. Carlton seem to have been in the last quarter and a bit coming right back to their best. Carlton through Madden, going forward. It's another goal. Or hopeful for Big Madden, he's kicked up high. Big Madden's there, yes! Takes the mark on the end of the goal square. So certainly height won out on that occasion, Pete. Madden only about 15 metres out from goal from where he'll kick. Has kicked one goal. He'll need to kick this goal also because Carlton are trailing the Swans by 10 points. That's Madden, point-blank range, going for his second goal in the third term at Princess Park on Seven's big league. And I think he may have... What did he do? He just got it, but it's through. Taken by Blackwell. Blackwell now drives high to Warden Madden. A big pack's going to hit the ball, but Madden in front. Madden took the mark. Well, short for Murphy. Murphy hand passes to Madden. Well, it allows Blackwell to get his kick towards Madden. Waiting at the back, much earlier, but Madden's got it this time. Surely Madden will learn from that one, Sandy. If you are behind, you will not take marks. If you're in front, if you're six foot ten, then you will take them. Madden did well, stood his ground well on that occasion. Credit where it's due, and Justin Madden took that mark well. So the chance of goal. He's only 15 metres out. No angle of note. The wind should not worry him from there. Madden's kick. First goal. Carlton down to 105. 11 points, so it's four points to margin in favour of football. Bombers knocked down by Justin Madden on the shoulder. He's got a free kick. How do you get onto his shoulder? <laughs> he's got the free. That's what uh, it was paid. Let's take a look at it. Oh yes, he's on his shoulder, Pete. Yes, as he went down, be the only way. So Justin Madden has kicked one goal.
his brother Simon for Essendon has kicked two. Actually, Justin hasn't played a bad game today. Twenty-five metres out, Madden shot at goal. Looks okay, and through for his second. So both Maddens have two goals on the board. Carlton comes within twenty points, four-eight to eight-four at Princes Park. Twenty points the difference at the twenty-seven. Of McClure, left foot towards the goals, doesn't make the distance. The pack fly. The ball hits the deck. Picking it up now is McConville. A snap, and Madden's got it. Well, they can't take that one off him. He's only about five metres out from goal, directly in front. And a chance to score their uh, first goal. There it is again. And that's a gutsy mark taken there by Madden as uh, we see uh, Donnell come on the scene a bit late. Oh, what a game this is. I'm glad I'm sitting up in the commentator's box. A very fiery start in this first quarter. We've only played about 14 minutes. And the uh, Carlton forward, big uh, Justin Madden going for Carlton's first goal from about five metres out. There it is, and he's put it through for a goal. Made it Buckley. Long. Madden can't get away. Now he does. Has possession, loses it to Hunter. He's under pressure. Swings round. Looks for the handball. Back to Meldrum. Over the top he goes to Madden in the square. Turns around. Goes. Sandy. Kick number 19 as he goes to McClure at half forward. Madden! Oh, it's He's just producing the goods now. Blackwell fires in towards full forward. Madden in the square. That right. time on replay, we watch as Byrne tried to mark from behind. A fatal mistake, no matter how well you're playing, and particularly when the guy in front of you is seven foot ten. Quite that tall, but well done, man. And he'll go. He does, and the blows are back in. Lightning at the scoreboard at Princess Park here. Yeah, 8 7 plays, 9 9. Oh. Right now, Marku hooks the ball high down towards the forward pocket. Here's coming across, takes. No, he doesn't take the mark. It comes out towards Madden. The hand pass to Ashman. And a clever one has come up as Ashman kicks his second. Oh. Five points the difference now. Carlton running hot. That could be an interesting watch your decision. Marku picks it up. Matt from behind, he's got it! Oh, gee, this game's got everything. Everything. Here it is in replay. Yeah. And Madden holding it at the third grab. Now, oh, Helen having this way down there, but you cannot stop a player of that height if he's got the ability no. all of the time. No, he's had a marvellous match thus far, though, Helen. Just had no answer for that height. So they want this one badly. Let's see what he does. He's very, very deliberate in his approach. Get, bends over the ball like Hudson and spears it through the middle. The Carlton's third. 3-2. Plays 7-4 on sevens. Big lead. Defensive side of centre. It was round eight, May 19, that Hawthorne thumped them in the first term. And here is a chance for Carlton to go deep into their attacking zone. Had to stop him, that's why I wouldn't have given 15 metres as Perovic goes forward. Oh, good mark by Justin Madden. Didn't quite hold him long enough, but he's paid anyway. See if he kicks it to your man down forward, Ken Hunter, Bobby. Looks for Mark McClure and finds it. Jimmy Buckley hobbling off the ground behind play, and that's what the cheers are for as Buckley hobbles off. And right now we see Reynolds and Justin Madden having a wrestling match in the goal square. It could be a free kick to Justin Madden down there in the square. There's Michael Reynolds. Yes, Kevin Smith and Ken Hunter saying thank you very much, pointing to where it would have been. And now Justin Madden has the chance of making it goal number three personally and goal number seven to Carlton. Inexperienced by Michael Reynolds. They had a wrestling match. It could have gone either way, as Ian Muller says to Justin Madden. And uh, Michael Reynolds trying to explain to Kevin Smith that he was doing it to me. But unfortunately for Michael Reynolds, Kevin Smith looked up at the wrong time. Maybe the retaliator has lost out again. When I say retaliate, there was nothing in the way of fisticuffs or anything like that. It was just pushing and shoving. And when umpire Smith looked down, 
it was a free kick to Justin Madden who's put his third goal on the board. Three goals to Justin Madden and Carlton go to seven goals, 10, 52 with Melbourne on 3-8-26. He's had three earlier on in this term. Is the kick to the half forward line. Madden! Oh, that's a good mark in these conditions. The big fella, and that's where, you know, the height. We play a like uh, Justin Madden's. We watch on replay now. Michael Reynolds almost having no chance. And with the height of Madden, you must be in front all of the time. Whether you take marks or not, if you're in front, it must come to the ground. And the players like Ashman, Muller, Malin and others will have a chance. One goal so far to Justin Madden. Carlton on 4-6, Melbourne on 2-5. He's Justin Madden. Lines it up, makes no mistake. Two goals to Justin Madden. And a steadier for the Blues. They move to 5-6, leading Melbourne 2-5. Buckley to receive. Fire in towards Madden at the back. He's got it. Great mark. I told you David Parker was right, Sandy. Yes, a marvellous move having that height up forward. <laughs> Lovely mark by Justin Madden. Mark. And that's where a player does use his height to advantage. But nonetheless, I would still prefer my player to be in front. When you've got your six foot ten and a half, then you should be in front. Don't ask me what it is in centimetres. So Madden to fire from 25 metres out, 45 degree angle. Hasn't gold in that. Very deliberate as well. Puts his body over the ball. Goals. Handy one of the blues too. the uh, full forward pace, that's a mark, big Justin Madden, up he went, the big long arms, Cowie was caught behind, and he has taken a good strong mark, Justin Madden, he's another of the taller brigade who has improved his marking this year, he and Wow Jones, this will be a goal, no doubt about this one, there it is, right over the ground, no Mel with the uh, right half forward, he's gone for a pass, looks for big Madden, up go the arms, and he's grabbed it! Matt has already kicked one goal. Let's watch the mark again. Simply too tall, doing a Paul Salmon. And Madden stood his ground. He kicked one goal in the first quarter, pretty well from the boundary line. So this is certainly the easier of the two. He's only 15 metres out. He's got it, I think. It's a goal. So three goals in three minutes to Carlton. It's a half forward line. Goes, says Paul Meldrum, and away scoots Molly up towards full forward, and Madden too tall in front. That's a delighted Carlton crowd there, and uh, that's the value of being in front when you're about nine foot tall. <laughs> Spoken by a true rover, RJ Stilton. So Barry Rowlings on the ground, number 22. I'm not sure what nine foot is in centimetres, Sandy. <laughs> Don't ask me. Now. Yeah, but Madden should always be in the front position, Sandy, and uh, it really does make it hard for any opponent. This is Simon Madden from directly in front. Too close to the man on the mark, but it matters not. Full points to Simon Madden. Uh, Justin Madden, I should say. I think I called him Simon twice there. Eh? Trying to touch the ball on the ground, steady and drive it forward, looking for Madden. Madden up high, takes the mark. Six foot eight, six foot nine. Length position on the outer side of the ground, about 65, 70 metres out from goal. Flanagan there, but Madden got the tap out. Who can take it away? No one could. And the umpire said there'll be a free kick going Carlton's way, and it will go to big Justin Madden. Now, he's not such a long kick, but if he gets it out wide enough, the breeze can help him a lot. He puts it up high. Not a bad looking kick. It's a goal! A goal kicked by Madden. No one there for Geelong. Madden kicks his third goal and he really puts it forward for Geelong. Big Madden getting the tap down. Buckley running away with the ball on the right foot. Drives up towards... Down. He's going with a long kick at goals. And Jackson's caught between two Carlton players. And there's Madden again to take a good strong mark. And you must be very impressed, Jack, with his marking today. Yeah, they're, they're very hard to take today up top, Peter, because it's very gusty and the ball's floating around. I've been very impressed with the marking of Reed too, uh, for Carlton at the half-back position. But that, they're hard marks to take. And Madden took it well. They've kicked a couple of goals. They'd be right in the game, Jack, because uh, anything can happen with the breeze. It can die down. There's Madden have just come on the ground. 
And, uh, well, he's looked a better player today, Justin Maddox away. Kicks it high. A chance for big Justin Madden from behind. Uncontested. That was a poor effort by Paul Jeffries as he stood back. And it is a 15-metre penalty. And Madden will... Gee, we wouldn't want to buy real estate off these umpires, Jack. <laughs> well, that... Slobby lining up with a plumb bob. Puts it on its way now, and it's gone straight through the centre of the goal. So Carlson now. Johnson's left foot could score. He goes for a shot, and it's a goal! Goal and opportunity lost by Madden. Should have taken the mark, fumbled it, and now gets... Oh, it. turn it up, Pumpy! What for, Jack? Well, Please he said tell he, me. He said he was tripped. That's what the decision was. He tripped himself up. Well, the umpires paid a trip to him, so I don't know. The crowd don't like it much. Have a look at Paul Jeffries. He cannot believe it. Chance for Madden. Puts it through, the umpire said it will be a goal. Carlton now, three goals. Not doing a bad job, now driving into the full forward zone. Madden is the target, the big fellow can't take it. Yes, he has, on the second grab. Good mark to, to Big Justin He's Madden. He's the target. They have their confidence up as uh, Big Justin Madden fires at the goals. It's a floater. It's coming back, though, and the goal umpire says it's a goal. The defensive side of the left half forward flat. Madden giving the lead. It's the play he looks to, and the big fella takes it. Perhaps a little stunned still following that second term action. Oh, it's a beautiful kick from Madden, and he's gold. Great kick. His first, and Carlton's 16. 16-5 to 9-8 on seven. Big lead. Ball again, Hunter off the pack. Carter's right there with him. Hunter, well tackled by Smith, into the goal square, and Madden... Pick and grabs him. No, Hunter, right. two feet out, couldn't possibly miss. And Carlton steamrolling simply at the moment. Good play on the part of Justin Madden that time. He was in a hopeless position. Uh, for most of the quarter, Torbett and Madden. Madden gets the front position, hard to beat from there. Takes him from the pack, could score a goal, and I think he has. Oh, great play, Justin Madden. Two goals to Madden. Well, as I said before, Bobby won the match for the last time they played last year, and he's heading that way at the moment. It's early days, I know. He's going in very solidly at the moment. Hawk lost the ball. Uh, kicked out of the pack by McClure. Up to Madden, who marks a, a grass cutter. He had to bend down for that one. And Madden... Over the last few weeks, Carlton, a big crowd in attendance here today. I'll bring a trade with a 25,000 mark, and that's a goal. A goal at Carlton. Now by four points, 48 to 44 at Windy Hill. A great game of football here. We expected it. Thumped away by Madden. Down to Carlton, centre half forward position again. But Donnell is there. Snaps it back towards Mailer on the point of the square. He could go from there. Runs in. A long shot at goal. It's through. One goal to eight points. Boundary throw in. Left forward pocket for Carlton. Madden and Madden. Duckworth runs into a wall of players. Snapshot for goal by Madden, and he's put it through, I think. Wait for the field umpire. Yes, a goal. So Justin Madden scores for Carlton after a ruck duel with his brother. 9 to 14. Carlton lead by five. already kicked two goals up to this stage of the match. Kicked by Blackwell is across the centre half forward. Oh, there's a great mark to Justin Madden. Gets a hurried kick, it's a shocker as a matter of fact. Johnson and Madden go for this one, neither take the mark, but Johnson's first to recovery goes down, and finally Madden comes out with the ball, goes for a short pass. Guy of this third quarter. Ball back into play, knocked out by uh, Madden this time, over to Meldrum, the Blues bounce back. And Yates upset from top and bottom, Marku onto McConville, onto Glasgow rather, back to Madden. Oh, 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 by Madden, there's a goal! Oh, what a jam! My golly pity, there's the score, 6-3, 39 to 9, 5, 59. I tell you what, he hardly put in the effort that at all. Well, he had a shot for goal before, and... Kick it like you would play a sand iron shot in golf, but he got into that one. Look at this. 
<laughs> and he couldn't say there was any wind behind it. <laughs> what a kick. Reminds me of Malcolm Blight's here about eight years ago. And I think I've said it alongside play so ferociously for a long time. Out to Corkamilis by Matt. The long kick, and that's a good one. It's a goal. The second. That's Corkamilis' the second goal. And Carlton now two goals. Well. quickly plays on looking up there for the big fella Madden he's got the sit couldn't hold the mark he goes after it again down he goes looks for a hand pass to Johnson this looks dangerous it's a goal three goals to Johnson and we haven't got it on the replay it was a pretty hefty bump though I can assure you he seemed to get the better of it but he landed awkwardly holding the ball says the umpire it's a free kick here he is oh, very hard to say it might be a shoulder he may have dislocated the shoulder Madden going for five and I think has got it five goals to Justin Madden so he's been a uh, of course matter of fact the McClure's look pretty good today beautiful pass to Hunter decides to play and over it goes to Matt this could be goal number four for him and that 41 points to North Melbourne 14 pack fly and this one will be there's a Matt got the goal he might have kicked that one yes he has that's his third Oh, what a beauty, the North Melbourne defenders asleep that time. So it's two goals, 2-14 North Melbourne now. A long kick over the centre, half forward position for North Melbourne. Oh, out of position completely that time on McCann. Oh, little crack is thrown there, that's Phil Craig clear, a left foot snap at the goal. Looking there for Big Madden again, he's got it. So that's the second time it's been up to the big fella and far too tall at the moment for David Dent. His second goal and Carlton's also. And that's not a bad sort of a kick, it's another goal. Two goals to Madden. So the scoreboard. Bit of lemon rinse over there, here's Meldrum. Meldrum steady, shoots in towards goal. Big Madden is there this time. Well, they've got Madden playing at full forward, and I think uh, Ralph would be playing in the forward pocket. That's a pretty smart move because he's far too tall for David Dent. Plus, he's a lot younger. Trouble in kicking the first goal in this match. Does just that. Carlton lead at VFL Park. Madden's first goal and the scores on the Actual solid, serviceable game for Carlton. Madden, beautiful ruck work to Ashman.